All right, guys, welcome to episode 138 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. Yo. We appreciate every single last one of you that's liking, sharing, subscribing. You know what I'm saying? Go down in the description, get yourself a little merch if you haven't done so already. It's hoodie season. We got all new colors. You know what I'm saying? So go down there and get you a little something. Get the wife a little something. Get the kids something. You know what I'm saying? Keep them warm. Get your dog something. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Nobody's excluded, all right? Nobody's excluded, but we're back. Episode 138. It's a beautiful Tuesday. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? Shit. Feeling good. Feeling good, man. Uh, had a good weekend, bro. Um, I don't know about you. It was pretty relaxing. You know what I mean? Got yeah, some bro, shit done. I just Got some slept. Work. You just slept? Just chilled? Slept. Slept, bro. It's, it's getting to that season, bro, where it's like, it's, it's getting cozy out. You know what I mean? We're cozy yeah. in the house when you stay home and shit. It's getting cold out. And I don't like the cold. And that's why I'm wearing my fucking beanie and shit, you know? <laughs> Got a bald head. You guys know. But, uh, but yeah, I had a good weekend, man. Fucking chilling. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about what the fuck happened in, uh, what was it, Houston? Houston, Texas? Did you hear about that with Travis yeah, Scott, the concert? Yeah, that shit was crazy. That's fucking crazy, bro. At least eight dead. Many injured after crowd surge. So, like, people were saying that, like, the officials, they had, like, a, a like, an after, like, interview and the sheriffs, whatever, on the news. And they were saying, like, yo, like, people were getting poked with needles. Yeah, there was a security officer that said that. He said that he felt, he felt a needle go into his neck and then he, like, passed out a few minutes later or some shit. That's crazy, dude. That's like you don't you even be know. Be careful, bro. You don't even but know what they're injecting you with. It could be anything, it could bro. Be anything. It could be anything, literally be anything. anything. So that's like that's you're not that's even fast. safe anymore, bro. You're not safe. I you mean, know? bro. Listen, man. Like that's these big shit. concerts, like these big concerts, bro. You, it's just. That's why I personally wouldn't go. Like I never went, even when I was younger and shit. People were like, oh, like, like, bro. You just don't know what's going on out there. There's always some crazy shit that happens. There's always fucking big ass drug busts, like. These concerts, a lot of these concerts, bro, can can be very dangerous. I'm not gonna say they're all like that, but they can be dangerous, bro. Like, but you, the thing is, I don't like people blaming him for it. Yeah, no, because it's like, how the fuck, like, bro, I'm throwing a concert. You know what I'm saying? Mad people showed up because it's been so fucking long since we've been able to do concerts like this. Yep. You know what I'm saying? How am I in control of a nigga running around poking people with something? Yeah You know what I mean They're like, They're like Oh he didn't stop the show yeah, Everybody was like, chanting Everybody was chanting Well guess though. what How about everybody <laughs> That was standing there Probably didn't want Most people that were there Probably didn't want The show to stop Yeah I'm pretty sure like, too yeah, like let's be honest, they're turned up. They're not really focused on that shit, and it's sad. But it's like they're not focused on that. You're there for a concert. Yep. You look over. You're not thinking niggas are getting poked by something. You're like, yo, this motherfucker had too much to drink. They passed out. Yeah, nah, you know but what that, I mean? like, th- that's some like Final Destination shit. That's like some fucking like devil shit, bro. Like literally, like that's that's scary, man. It makes me paranoid. Like for real, to even go out in a public place in a crowded area, like all it takes is hey. Oh, 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 yeah. sorry, sorry, they I ran bump into, you. into you, and you don't know what the fuck they rubbed on you, what the fuck they poked you with, and that's some nasty shit, bro. People get that pleasure. It's like that 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 serial killer thing, you know? Like they can just be poking people with like certain toxins or something, like something crazy, fucking poison, and kill you, and they and people just start dropping dead, and they get pleasure off that. That's fucking weird, bro. That's hey, some man. type of like sickness. People are fucking wired different, bro. And some niggas are crazy. Some people are just like, what? They're, bro. Some people are fucked up in the head, bro. That is ridiculous. Some people are fucked up in the head, but, but I bet you that, I bet you one thing's for sure, two things for certain. There's a few people that went out there that regretted that shit. Bro, the you victims were 14, 16, two were 20, 21, two were 23, and there was a 27 year old, while the other victims uh, were unknown. Yeah, I I read that there was a 10-year-old, too. Yeah. Yeah, he said at least 25 people were transported to the hospital, and those 13 remained hospitalized Saturday afternoon, the mayor said. Five of them were under 18. Well, listen, man. I'm going to tell you something. Whoever did that, you're a piece of shit, right? You're, you're like the scum of the fucking earth, in my opinion. Like, you took advantage of people trying to go out and have a good time. In the midst of a time when it's kind of hard to have a good time, bro. A lot of people are going through it. We're still in the middle of this fucking pandemic bullshit. Exactly. But we don't really know what's going to go on, if shit's going to shut back down. Like, we're in in a weird space right now. People are going out to try and get their minds off of things. You know what I'm saying? They're just trying to have a fucking fun night once in a while, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then shit like this happens. 
And it's like it like that guy, whoever it was, you're a complete scumbag piece of shit. I hope they catch you, bro. And I hope they fucking stone you. All right. Stone you to stone death. Stone you right in the right in the middle of the fucking concert. I don't think they caught <laughs> I don't even think they caught anybody. Nah, they haven't caught nobody, bro. There's no way. And most likely they're not gonna catch nobody unless somebody tells like somebody knew that some guy was gonna do some shit and you know what I mean? Like that's usually how it happens. Like somebody they usually tell somebody they're gonna go do some shit. And then their friends are like, ah, right, whatever, bro. You're a fucking lunatic. And then they do it, and they're like, holy shit. This nigga was really poking motherfuckers with, like, HIV or some shit. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. That's crazy. They could poke with you in anything, bro. Like, fucking, you could just drop dead. Or the fucking, you pass out, you wake up in a fucking house somewhere. You don't know, bro. Like, some trafficking shit. I don't know. There's some crazy shit, bro. Facts. Crazy. I don't even know. What, like, I don't even know what to say, bro. That's, yeah, that's, that's really That's up, wild, man. That's but prayers, prayers yeah. go up to the people you know, that lost their lives to the families that lost a loved one and to the people that are traumatized by that shit. Yeah, that's not that's a traumatizing experience. I don't give a fuck what you say. Niggas want to act like they're, you know, whatever. But, bro, is, nobody goes to a concert and people just start falling out left and right dying. Yeah. And you go home like nothing. You, happened. Yeah, you're not yeah. <laughs> like you, you don't think like, you know, what I mean, you're just going to a concert. You're thinking about the shit that's going to like happen after the concert. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get some food. I'm probably going to hit up this chick after the concert or some shit. Like, yeah, or she's there with you and you're like, yo, we're going to have a good time. We're going to eat. We're going to go home. We're going to fuck. Whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. And it's like you just don't end up coming back because somebody want to be fucking weird. You know what I mean? Like there's some weird people out there. Hey, so man, it's a fucked up world, guys. When you go out, stay on your P's and Q's, man. If you could avoid large crowds like that, I, I suggest you do. It's just like that Las you know Vegas I mean? shit, like, bro. That country concert, like out of like everything. That's so weird, bro. And it's, it's crazy. Unexpected. One of our friends, remember? One of our friends went to Las Vegas like a week before. Yeah, bro. Wow. Wow. I think he had stayed in that hotel that guy was in like a week before. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, bro. Like what are the like? Yeah, that's just that, that, that would give me the chills. You know what I mean? Imagine you're just out there and you're just enjoying a regular concert outside and you think it's fireworks. People are like, nah, that's just fireworks. There's fireworks. Bro, nah, and you start pe see people fucking dropping like flies. Like, that was kind of like one of the biggest, weirdest things that's ever happened recently besides 9 11 and all this other random shit, the Boston Marathon bombing and all this. Like, that's just some weird shit to me, bro. And it's like kind of swept under the rug. Like no one really talks about it anymore, how weird it was and like the situation and like no one's asking any more questions. It's kind of weird to me. I mean, it's just, it's it, damage control, bro. Look, man, the United States has to do damage control. At the end of the day, like, especially with that, that situation specifically with the Vegas thing, like these niggas were... Like saying there was multiple shooters and it wasn't coming from the building and it was on the ground and it was from multiple people and multiple angles. So when you start saying when you start seeing multiple people say that shit, now it starts raising questions and people got to they got to ask. So they got to do that damage control. Like, no, we got to shut this shit down now. Yeah, it was one shooter. We caught him. Look, he had all the guns. Look, he had all the ammo. Look, here's all the evidence. It wasn't us like. You know? They're trying to say that there was a there was a backstory to it that there was a cover up for something else and it was. I mean, a, it yeah, might be it, it might be been. a distraction for something or, or or it might be, you know, a reason to go pass a law somewhere. There's multiple reasons why something like that would be done on purpose. Mm -hmm. There has to be something. They can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm, what are the chances? You know, a, a lunatic just want to fucking blast down the whole crowd. I mean, I get it, but not really. Like I don't know. Listen, man, again, prayers to everybody that was involved in both of those situations, man. My heart goes out to you guys and your families. That's fucked up. Yeah. You go out, try that. to have a nice night, and it's fucking over. Yeah. Crazy. yeah That's it's crazy. All, it's, yeah, it's just concerts, period. You know what I mean? Because that was like, that was a concert as well. So, I mean, fuck. Like, you can't even go out and enjoy music, bro. So Yeah, no, yeah. fuck that. But Regret, though. Yeah, you still you still can't live with regret, man. You you know? Like, you still got to you gotta move around and live your life and... Like, we're human, so you regret certain things you do, but you should try not to. You know what I'm saying? You should try not to because, listen, man, if you live with regrets, usually because you didn't do something. Like, that's to me, that's the worst type of regret. The type of regret where, where like, you get older and you're like, damn, bro, what it could have, should have. What it could have, should have regret is the worst. Yeah, you know I mean? like, especially when you're old, man. Especially when you're old and, and, and crusty. 
You know what I mean? Like sitting there rotting away and shit. Like, you know? Like yeah, you everybody. can't do shit no more. You can't even barely take care of yourself. Like Yeah, all your friends are dead. Or like, you know, your mom's gone and you're by yourself and your kids are already grown up or you have no kids. You know what I mean? And you're sitting there like, man, I wish I would have done this, you know? Facts. Like, because one of the realest things I ever I ever heard um, is how big would you dream if you knew you couldn't fail? That is, that is that's deep. That's true. Because at the end of the day, people are scared to fail. Mm hmm. Yeah, bro. And I don't know why, man. Like failure is what teaches you, man. Like it's. I've said it before in here, bro. Like it's not really a failure unless you just don't learn from it. You know, but most of the time, if you learn, bro, it's not a failure because now you know what not to do. You go back, you redo it, and now you know, hey, bro, don't do it this way because it didn't work out. You yeah, know, but that's 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 a that's a real ass quote, bro. You know, a lot of people say uh, failure is what you know what makes you learn. You know, what I mean, just like how you said, yeah, failure is is very important. I rather fail more than win because you learn. You know what I mean. That's how life is, though. You are yeah. going to fail more than you're going to win. Yeah. And that's what gets people down. Yeah. It's like, fuck, bro. Like, you know, I've tried it 20 times and all 20 times it didn't work. Well, motherfucker, try one more. It might work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, or if it don't, try, go, you know, moving on to something else that might work. You know what I mean? Like, but the that's that's the word realistic. When people say like, oh, like, man, just be realistic, man. You know what I mean? Like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to be realistic. And it's like, not even just that. It's like, you're realistic and my realistic might be different. Exactly. <laughs> like, your realistic it, it, might be a fucking square. A, a square and box. I'm thinking it's a, it's an oval over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you may think the things that I do and like are fucking dumb. Really stupid. You know what I mean? Like, you, you probably wake up in the morning, you probably see my videos and you're like, wow, look at this fucking idiot. You know what I mean? And you're getting ready to go fucking bust your ass and you think it's okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying Like And I'm not calling shots It's just like People enjoy different things But don't be judgmental about it Yeah you know that's I mean? a fact man. And then when that's people And when people want to make it <coughs> When people make it I saw a, a quote from Gary Vee too He was like bro like People want to act like they make it And fake it till you make it Like mm -hmm. that's 1980s and shit Like how about you talk about The process of you making it Yeah how about you tell people bro I was broke for a while I, I was fucked Like tell a real story But Again, all that shit goes right back to fucking social media. Everybody has to keep this front. Yep. Because you feel like if you don't keep this front, people won't respect you as much or whatever. I don't fucking know, man. There's so many reasons why people, you know what I'm saying, do that shit. But, yeah, fuck that fake it till you make it. Bro, like. There's there's always a don't positive. Yeah. Don't give a fuck about what people think, man. Yeah. I've been rocking the same shorts. These motherfuckers that have holes in them, nigga. Mm -hmm. I've been rocking the same shorts, the same slides, the same t-shirts for the last three years. Am I lying? No. Nah. Every week I come in here with the same fucking shit on. <laughs> yeah. Dead but ass. it's like dead ass. But I, who real. gives a fuck? Yeah. Because the bigger picture isn't me trying to fucking show off for you or me yeah. trying to get pats on my back about how fresh I am. And nigga. the thing is, is when, we, when we get what we want done, yeah. done, when it goes through. And the thing bro. is, yeah, like, bro, people don't understand. The thing is, we still look good with doing the bare minimum. Bro, I don't we, buy we, shit. You see I what I'm saying? Mix like, match the I same will, shit I have. I would still pull your girl with a, with a shirt that I bought at a fucking thrift shop that was worn by my three nigga. other people. My nigga. Like, a, and you, 50 and you, cent, a 50 cent AC DC shirt. It like, don't fucking matter, bro. Like, as long as you look good, bro, like, it, it don't matter, bro. It's all about your confidence and how you how you walk in the room and, 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 and how you leave your mark on this earth and on people. You yeah, know? no, that's a fact, man. All yeah. that other shit doesn't really matter, bro. But yeah, man, like, guys, go for your dreams. Dream big. Go for your dreams. And don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, bro. It's like, going to be fucking hard. And it's not going to go the way you want. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's not going to go the way you plan. And most of the time, like we just said, you're going to fail more than you're going to win. Yeah. But if you do it right and you stay consistent at it, those couple of wins are going to overshadow the, the thousand losses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dead ass. Like Jay-Z Jay said, that. That, that, Jay that that said that, that shit, was, bro. That was, that yeah, was nice. Bro, yeah. That was nice, bro. Jay-Z said that shit. He was like, bro, like, it, it only takes once. to You only got to be right once. Yeah. And that's facts. You could be wrong a thousand times and people like, look at this nigga. He's still trying to try this shit. Yeah. 
It only takes one fucking time And yeah. then boom You're yeah. out of here bro like, And then people be like Damn oh, how did you do it <laughs> It must have been easy Must have been nice Yeah it must be nice yeah, You don't have to nice, do yeah. shit Yeah it must yeah, be nice yeah, To yeah. not have to fucking You know what I mean Like Nah bro We live We live in different times now bro We live in different times bro You know I went out to that uh, To that fucking cannabis festival and it was last minute and shit. And I went out there. It was it was really life changing, bro, because it, it 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 put a light on like where we're at with marijuana. Finally, man, round of applause to that. It's been fucking decades, bro. Decades, bro. Bro, there's people still sitting in prison. Bro, we've been in trouble for weed. Of course, but you know, bro. Listen, man. That's why I pay homage. I pay homage to the to the pioneers that made a way for this shit, bro. Cause that, now it's all willy nilly. Now everybody smokes. Everybody wants to fucking Be a try. Pie. Everybody yeah. wants to fucking smoke weed. No. But I remember when that shit was really frowned upon. And it yeah. wasn't that long ago. And it wasn't. And people it was about look ten at years us. ago, ten fifteen years ago, people were looking at potheads. Cops were arresting niggas for grinders, bro. Yeah, bro. I remember, bro. I got, bro. I, like, ha- I have a misdemeanor because of a grinder. It was a different time. Yeah. So it was like, imagine twenty, thirty, forty years before that. You know, like the people that were really like these. I'm telling you, bro, there's people that are sitting in prison that have been sitting in prison 30, 40 years, bro, for 10 pounds of weed. Like, and that is absolutely fucking bonkers. <laughs> it is crazy, bro. That's ridiculous. That's, that's like bonkers. That's like, that's like us having fucking a, a pound of fucking rosemary in our fucking in our fucking kitchen to cook. Yeah. And, and these then motherfuckers fucking, wanna, they, they give you 25 years to life for it. Yeah. That's, it's a different time, bro. And, and it, it's ridiculous, bro. Like I saw, you know, the picture I sent you, there was a there was a patrol car that was that was blacked out and it had the tent and said chief. It was a chief's car. And then it said for the Paul uh, Bud Paul community or something like that it was like sponsored with like uh, for like pets and shit. And then it had like marijuana leaves on it. And I was like, wow, we live in a different time, bro. I'm smoking a joint in front of a cop car looking at this. And then the cop comes up to me. He's like, yeah, man, go ahead and fucking take pictures, man. You can go inside. I was like, what the fuck? And these nah, guys are fucking, time, they're man. selling fucking pounds in the fucking, like in certain areas. Like they have the pound bags of runts and shit. Like, mm-hmm. and they're out here selling it. Like I didn't need my medical card, bro. Like I just walked in there and fucking, Hey, let me buy this. Let me buy that. Like, and Kevin couldn't believe it. My little brother, he was like, he's like, bro, this is crazy. He was so happy. I've never seen somebody so fucking happy. To I was like, Kevin, this is nothing. Bro. Like, this is where we're at now. We're, we're medical yeah, marijuana. Like, and it's gonna it's gonna be bigger, bro. It's gonna get bigger. Like, there's dispensaries opening up. There's gonna be festivals. And yeah. There's so much money to make with that type of shit. And it's a good spot. It's a good spot to put like the set up the podcast. Like, if we ever had like a little tent mm-hmm. and people would pass out, I, was, I should have had my business cards. Like, it was one of those events where like, yeah, you, it, dope yeah. talk would definitely be involved in. Like, I could tell. And uh, it was Jay. It was Jay's idea because I sent him pictures, and he was mm. like, "Yo, bro, that's a good spot." I don't know. Let us know. Like, maybe if you guys have any ideas on, on some good locations, maybe we can travel and do different things. Like, we're just, you know, just looking for the. Yeah, future. we gotta, we gotta, you know, we're gonna start doing different things. For yeah, sure. for sure, for sure, we're gonna start growing. Shout out, matter of fact, man, we gotta do this real quick. Shout out to our boy Harry. Oh yeah, Harry, Harry, bro, our boy Harry Walker. I know he sounds like a movie star. He is a movie star. He's a fucking star to us. Yeah, right? he is. But shout out to him, bro. Shout out to you, man. He's uh he's our editor now, guys. He's our editor and he's fucking killing it. He's been doing a good job. And um yeah, man, we're glad to have you on the team. And we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. And bro, it's crazy to think about. Like two years, bro. Two years we've been doing this shit. Over two years we've been doing this and Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't. It doesn't, but finally we had we added another person to the team officially, man. Woo! So round of applause to you, Harry. Welcome to the Dope Talk family. We, we appreciate Harry. you. And he's working, man. Motherfucker sent me lists and shit of companies. Uh, he's trying to get a sponsor. And fuck like, yeah. yeah, working, bro. bro. He's I working. He see he he fucks with the vision. Yeah, yeah bro. I mean? It and, takes uh, time, bro. People need to realize things take time, mm-hmm. man. Because we're gonna fuck up too. We ain't gonna do everything right. Facts, People bro. need to realize that shit, man. But it's a vision, man. It's it's not a fucking race. It's a marathon. Yeah, it's a marathon, on, bro. You put, you, you put the right people in, in the right spots, bro, and, you know, shit's going to happen. You shit's are who happen. you hang around. Facts. Exactly. You're who you hang around, bro. I'm a firm believer in that. Birds of a feather flock together. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Like, listen, man, if you hang around four bums, you'll probably be the fifth. 
If you hang around four millionaires, you'll probably be the fifth. <laughs> I swear to God, man. it's just really that simple, bro. That's just what it is, and and it's funny because when I went to that festival, I went with Kevin, my little brother, and I met up with my uh, with my cousin, and uh, my cousin's like, "Hey, man, I'm with my buddies and shit," and I'm like, "Oh man, I just for some reason I just didn't I didn't like that. I was just like, I already know I'm not gonna like you. You know what I mean? Like I don't know why. That's just the type of person I am. Anybody new, I'm just like ah, I'm standoffish until I meet you. Like you know what I mean? Until yeah. I see what type of person you are. Yeah, we don't hang around a lot of people, bro. Yeah. I know. And so when, when I when I met these guys, these kids were like maybe like 21, 22 years old. One had like one had like a face tat. And I'm not even going to judge because look at me. I'm fucking tied to the fuck up. You know what I mean? But that wasn't it. But it kind of it, it's crazy because you, you got the you got the mask that's covering your whole face. You're trying to be that that Dirk look young mm-hmm. thug type of you know what I mean? It's like, bro, like and then I see you I, and then I see that all you all you do is fucking steal shit off the fucking tables. What, you know what I mean? Then my cousin's it's doing it. ignorance, man. Fucking ignorance, bro. And then, like, I'm like, Kevin, you know, I, I just separated myself from them because I was just like, bro, like, you see that? You see how, you, you know, he's acting like a fucking follower? You see what I'm saying? Like, don't don't be a follower. Be a leader, bro. Fact. Because that stealing shit ain't cool, bro. I told bro, him. I said, acting a certain yeah. way will get you treated a certain way. Yeah. And then you can't fucking complain about it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's people like that. They go do shit like that. And now the cops want to stop you because you stole from five booths. And they fucking saw you. Now they go tell the cop. The cop comes up to you and now the cop's racist. Yeah. It's like, no, motherfucker. You're fucking acting a certain way. You're sitting here stealing on top of that. And you want me to just sit here and just like not do my job. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, nah. Bro, listen. You act a certain way, you get treated a certain way. And then you can't get fucking mad about it. He's it's like, really that simple. It's like 50 Cent when he's like, yo, like if I can't, my grandfather told me something. He's like, if I can't learn something from you. Why the fuck am I around you? Why That's the fuck facts. am I around you? That's facts, man. Like, and people Listen, be like, guys. oh, well, you know, maybe you won't learn something from any, everybody. I'm like, well, maybe you should. Like, yeah, yeah because I get to choose who I want in my circle. Real talk. Yeah, like, you don't have a choice. Like, when it comes down to family, you don't have a choice. When it comes down to certain things, you yeah. don't have a choice. Yeah. But when it comes down to your friends and who you hang around and shit, who you, who, who you let influence you, that's a fucking choice. You know what I mean? Like, I agree, bro. Hang around the right people. Hang around. hang around the right people. Hang around the people that check you, too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, people exactly. are like, yo, bro, why are you doing that? Like, chill. Why, like, yeah, yeah. What's your problem? Relax. Like, my nigga, we're right. not here to do that. That's yeah. not what we do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and there, and that's, that's, that's the type of relationship you need. You need uncomfortable conversations. Like, without that, then it's just like, then y'all won't talk about nothing. That ass. It's like, you, y'all be too scared to talk about this and too scared to talk about that. Like, when you break the ice and you're like, fuck it, man. Like, this is how I feel or this is this is what's going on. And that's what you have to do in any type of relationship. That's friendships. That's fucking, you know, relationship with your fucking, uh, your, your partner. You know what Facts. I mean? Like, you got to have that uncomfortable fucking topic. Yeah, you, know, you got to talk about that shit, man. You got to talk about a lot of things before getting married, too. That's, that's yeah. a big thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, bro, in my opinion, your ideologies have to be in tune. You know what I'm saying? You got to want the same thing for your children. You got to want, you know what I mean? Like, you got to be on the same page. Yeah. Period. You know, and a lot of people aren't. A lot of people end up getting into a family situation without really ever talking about a lot of things. Yeah. And that's when you start realizing, like, whoa, like, we think completely different and we want to raise our child completely different. Like, I should have thought about this a little yeah. more. I have different <laughs> yeah. goals. I have different dreams. And like, I, you know, like I didn't realize, like, you got to look at it like this too. Like, you don't know what their background is. Like if their mom had problems, their mom had issues. If they had mommy yeah. issues, they got daddy issues. They, you know, that's uh, important. Is there, is their mom bipolar? Did it pass down to my wife? You know, or, you know, stuff like that. Nah. Yeah. Like, like I've said that shit before. Like you, got, bro, you look at a, a woman like or a man whatever you know your preference of dating is like you look at your partner's family you know what i'm saying and it'll tell you a lot bro it'll tell you a lot you know what i'm saying like are they all crazy are they all funny you know what i mean like it just yeah it tells I'm, you a lot bro. it's some crazy shit like no offense like is is, is her mom obese because you want to see a reflection of her look at her mom yeah dead ass Facts. You know, is her mom obese? Fact. Is her mom like, you know, is she sick? Is she in a wheelchair? Like that type of shit you got to look into because it's like, all right, then if my wife is like that, then my daughter's going to be like that and so on and so on. And mm-hmm. I don't want that. You know what I mean? Like there's certain things I could deal with and there's some things that you can't. 
and right. some things that you maybe I'm able to take care of and I'm able to like take care of a situation. You know what? That's okay. And some people, it might not be okay. You know what I mean? People would be like, oh, no, nah, I can't deal with that. You know, that's why you got to like put everything on the table. So that's it. That's my rant for today. Hey, man, round of applause to you my know? dog. Put everything on the table. Let it be known. Yeah, that's you it. You know what I'm saying? Almost ran out of breath. Real talk. My dog was talking. Talking, dog bro. Was talking that flabbergasting, fucking, bro. Uh, flabbergasting. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, I'll tell you something that's flabbergasting. <laughs> the fuck happened? <laughs> Look, guys, I'm going to let, let you know something right now. Fuck going on? Women that go to concerts dolo. Oh my God! I Women forgot that about go to that. concerts dolo. I forgot bro. Look, about man. that. Oh shit! A lot of y'all men don't want to go to a concert with your chick. Yeah, because of the music or the whatever music. the fuck. I just want. I just want to put Cocaine some game out there. Music. Yeah, I just want to put some game out there yeah. for y'all young men. All right, your woman going to a concert by herself. She single that night. Oh, bro, she's single that night. Bro, she's single. If he points it, at her in the crowd and says, "Where the single in. ladies?" Yeah. And she, uh, and and she, she got, got the, she got for bro. Row. Like, I'm gonna tell you what. A I'm lot of women take that as an investment. They see as, <laughs> yo, they see concert tickets they as gamble. investment. They no, say they the, clo- the, that, the closer they get, the higher the chance of me getting picked out by him or him seeing me. So I'm gonna yeah, pay the ten thousand dollar ticket. Titties is out and jiggling. Yeah, the titties is out and jiggling, bro. She's sitting there. Yeah. Where her mom fucking, fucking milkers. Best, her best makeup on, man. You know fuck what a mean? makeup, her man. Best perfume, no fucking, no thong, no nothing, just a dress. Damn, you know what I mean, she freezing. That she whole ready. thing, that whole thing freezing. Oh, nah, bro. Listen, oh, I've seen it. I seen some dress. Old, I've seen y'all freezing your little <laughs> TT bone I, I, off. I, yo, I see I've it. seen you freezing your little fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah, your little clit off, bro. Yeah. Y'all don't want to put on a fucking. Y'all want to thot it up all year round, bro. All year, it's crazy. Like Halloween just passed, bro. And, and y'all it's crazy. Y'all uh, hoes hijacked Halloween, bro. bro I, hijacked saw, I saw that. I saw that. It's true. Hoes hijacked yeah. Halloween, bro. You bro. seen more ass. Them fucking kids in their costumes, bro. I don't see bro. no kids no more. Yeah, I see I don't a see lot. no kids trick or treat, and I just see hoes on Instagram just, with a fucking nurse outfit or a fucking cop outfit, yeah, all their yeah, ass hanging yeah, out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, cities out. Yeah, it's just like, man, like y'all take over everything, bro. Like, like yo, fuck. let me fucking. <laughs> Even like Christmas, kind of Christmas is kind of turning Christmas, into that. Nah, it, come on, bro, it's been that. You know, it's like, been that. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, it's not that bad nah, yet. It's not it's that bad, bad yet. bro. It's, it's not bad. that bad yet. We don't. All right. Got, all right, but it's getting there. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking getting there, bro. I will tell you, fuck out of here, nah, bro. Nah, I'm tired of you girls, man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> let's I'm gonna go. Say let's it, man. hear it, bro. I'm tired of y'all. What's bro. going on? Who broke your heart, man? I feel like Billy Ray, man. Billy Ray, achy achy heart. He made that song you nah, know that? no, know. That's crazy Nah but I'm just tired of him man I really am bro Because y'all say Y'all say this <laughs> Then want that You know what I mean And then it's just My like My dog got his heart broke Yeah bro I got it broke man Damn, Nah bro. nah 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 Damn bro You know what Maybe it's karma Maybe it's karma bro Or maybe it's not Cause I got seven more On the you line got, You are a piece of yeah. shit sometimes You think You think you're number one But you're really number two Mmm let me bring That's you back to school. That's how the race goes. <laughs> I told him, let me bring you back to school. <laughs> let me bring you back to school. All right, quick. Let me school you up real quick. Let me. We got a board right here. You know what I mean? We'll wipe it down. No, nah, oh, but yo, man, man I appreciate. Fucking wild. I appreciate everybody watching though. We nah, love you. But yeah, listen. Shout out to the people that bought the jackets. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Like Johnny said, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to everybody that bought a jacket, that bought a hoodie, that bought something. We appreciate you. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch, and yeah, man, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love. Peace, Peace and love. Peace and love.